cabinet, and today I will be demonstrating to you how to lay tile. I will be going over three main parts, where to start, what you need, and how to lay your tile. Where to start? You can't just walk into a room and say, oh, that, that looks good, I just want to do tile right there. You have to find a space and you have to go from there. You need to make sure that the space is cleared off adequately, which means like if I wanted to lay tile in here on this floor, I'd have to rip up the carpet and I'd have to get down to the concrete slab. If you have um, hardwood floor and you don't want to take that up, you can put um, hardy on it, but it's best to just rip it up and get to the concrete. Um, there's more that goes into tile than just slapping some mortar on the floor or on the wall and sticking on <laughs> a piece of tile. It's not a grown-up version of macaroni art. <laughs> <laughs> what you will need, knee pads, trowels, these are trowels, um, mortar, I don't have any of that with me, it's kind of heavy to carry, grout, I don't have grout either with me, um, a bucket, a tile saw, don't have that, sponges, <laughs> need lots of sponges, rags, don't have any rags, a tape measure, and your tile. I have a couple different um, versions of tile. It doesn't really matter which one you'd like to use. Any of these little cross things, but I'll get to those in a second. So, if you're going to lay tile on the floor, you want to use knee pads because you're going to be mm -hmm. on your hands and knees the entire time, and your knees will think you lay them. Um, you need to measure the area. So, if I wanted to lay tile in this room, I would have to measure what how Delisa said, like mm -hmm. down the walls okay. and like lengthwise, width, everything. Um, once you've measured the room, you need to take into account any uh, unmovable objects. You see how this wall juts out right here? Mm -hmm. uh, you have to take into account this measurement because it's not just one long strip of wall. So you have to take into account how you're going to lay the tile, how you're going to cut the tile. Once you've measured the room, you need to measure your tile. So if you're going to do small tile like this, you need to know how many um, boxes you need, things like that. You're going to do this little a little bit bigger tile, you're still going to need to know how much tile you need. Um, second, you will need a tile saw to cut your tile. It's not a really hard concept. Uh, it runs on water with a diamond blade. Mm -hmm. and it's pretty interesting. It's really, really loud. And I, my father is a carpenter, so I'm used to growing up with all kinds of different saws. But a tile saw is nothing like a jigsaw or a table saw. Uh, it runs on water, and instead of getting sawdust everywhere, it gets a kind of like a mud-like substance due to the water. And the water keeps the blade cool and the dust down, so it's pretty interesting. Once you've measured and cut your tile, you're ready to lay it. And here's where the mortar comes in. Mortar comes in all different shapes, sizes, bags, buckets anything you just need it doesn't really matter what kind you like just it's your opinion um, mortar is a blend according to um, Home Depot's site mortar is a blend of concrete sand and a water retention compound that makes it easier to mix together we have some guys in the room so if y'all have ever mixed concrete together it's kind of like this concept where you buy a bag of concrete add water and then use the mixer thing um, that's kind of how you, that's exactly how you mix up mortar, except for instead of concrete, it's mortar and you're laying it on the floor. Uh, for the girls who have not mixed up concrete, it's kind of like adding water to a cake mix or a pancake mix. You just add water and mix it together. So you get a, um, kind of like a mayonnaise-like thickness. Uh, you want to make sure that you have, it's smooth. So you don't have any bumps because if you have bumps when you lay your tile, it's gonna dry, it's gonna dry funky and then raise your tile. Uh, then you want to scoop out the mortar and use your trowel. The trowel is you want to use it on this side, like on the ground. You want to scoop it out and lay it on the ground, and this gives you the texture. And you'd want to use this for the bigger pieces of tile. The smaller trowel you'd want to use for these smaller pieces of tile. It just depends on what you're laying. Um, 
once your mortar is spread smoothly, you want to lay a piece of your tile down and on top of it. And you want a bucket, just a little bucket filled with water. And you need to and you need a sponge to wipe off the excess mortar. And to do this, you just dip your sponge in water and lay it on the tile and wipe it on the tile. Um, you need to leave about a quarter of an inch of space in between each piece of tile. And you can put these little cross things in between each piece, so it'll make it easier for you to space out the tile. Um, later on, when you lay, when you're finished laying the tile, don't walk on it because it'll mess it all up and throw your tile out of place. Um, when you're done, when the tile dries, you can take all these little crosses out and you can put your grout down. And once again, it's kind of like putting your mortar down. You just get a sponge and get water and wipe it off. So it's a pretty easy concept. And in conclusion, I told you how to lay tile. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Questions? Is this some of your work? Um, my dad and I did this at a church. Uh, wow. It said, put your hand in the plow and don't, uh, just put your hand in the plow and don't look back to like the scripture. And we did different um, pieces of tile. We did big, we did even bigger, and it's pretty interesting. But my dad does this for a living, and these are some of the, you know, and this is actually my shower at home. Wow. <laughs> my shower. Oh, okay. Nice. Hey, and your show. <laughs> yeah, I know. A house you have a painter, you have carpet, you have a designer, you have a tile maker. I, love I, love <laughs> I just wanted to comment that I enjoyed your speech because my dad is a handyman and so I'm the same way. I grew up helping him out, going to jobs with him, and I hate the sound of that tile saw. It's like my least favorite thing in the world. I, I remember the first time he made me go cut tile for him by myself because oh. he was inside laying tile. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> it's like worse than nails on a chalkboard. It, I mean, it like, is, and there's, there's that muddy water coming everywhere. And you're just you're like, like, okay, the I'm just the fingers, thing. but I'm not going to slip into that plate there. <laughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, do you have to wear, is it loud enough where you have to wear a plug, like muffin, or it's just yeah. irritating? It's just irritating. It's just irritating. Like, have you ever heard of really a table saw? <laughs> uh, have you ever heard of a table saw? No? Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit loud, but it's worse because... Wait, I, I think I've heard of a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a diamond blade and it's going over this tile and it's hard and so it's like scratching with it's like if I took this and just scratched it it's oh, okay. sound really bad but that. it's I mean you can wear it you don't have to real <laughs> what is the problem a lot of times when I go into businesses and organizations and you'll go into the bathroom and the tile looks fine up to a certain point, but when it gets to edges, it is a problem. I think, who did this work? It's uneven, their piece is missing. What did they not do? They didn't measure properly or they just got sloppy? There's a lot of different aspects that go into it. I mean, I'm, I'm like you, I'm OCD, and my dad is a carpenter, so I grew up with learning how to build a house, and learning how to tile it, learning how to cut wood, and so anytime I go in a restaurant or someplace, I'm looking, I'm like, really? You know, is that hard to fix it? But sometimes, um, if it's on a wall, it's a little bit hard. You need a little bit thicker mortar to put on the wall. Um, I just told you how to like, lay it on a floor because that's easier, but to lay it on a wall, you need to have a little bit thicker mortar and you need to prop something up against it mm -hmm. to like hold it into place because gravity is just going to fall down. Mm -hmm. So maybe they didn't do that, maybe they got the wrong mortar because my dad's done a job before where he got the wrong mortar and it just slid off the wall. Oh. So it could be that or they could have measured wrong and it just didn't turn out right. Any other questions? Thank you.